Welcome back guys to your 15 Android app development tutorial. This is Shrix from SmartHerd. Let's continue our discussion on how to differentiate between the two buttons. Here at present we are having two buttons and when we click on this button then the same output is coming on the lock cat and when we hit the second button then again the same output is coming on the lock cat. Now the question arises how to differentiate between the, these two buttons. Now let's check out the codes. Now here inside the on click we have a parameter class view and the object is the V. Now this V guys actually help us to differentiate between the two buttons. Now how do it works? Let's check the syntax. Let's write switch statement. Let's write V dot get ID right now. This V is actually equivalent to this V right now. Let us now complete the syntax right now inside the switch statement. Let's write case r dot id dot what b test right break statement now again case r dot id dot button one right this is our second button now again write the break statement right now let us cut this log statement from here cut and paste it here right now shrieks first button was clicked now again copy this and paste it here right shrieks second button was clicked right now when the first button is clicked then this case will be executed right and similarly when the second button is clicked then this case statement will be executed so we will get the output as second button was clicked and correspondingly first button was clicked like this now let us run our application Yes, save the changes. Yes, our app is now running. Now let us check out. Click me. Yes, first button was clicked. We are using the shakes filter here guys. Don't forget this. Now let's click our second button. Yay, second button was clicked. Second button, second button, first button, first button. Like this we are getting the output. Now guys, one more thing here guys. Instead of switch case statement, you can also use if else statement like this. If, right. Now here you can write what if this is our alternative statement. If you don't like the switch case statement, you can also use the if else statement. Quite simple, quite logical thing, guys. If v dot get id equal to r dot id dot b test, then execute the statement. Else execute the statement. Now let's check it out. Let's check it out. Click me, click me. Yes, first button, second button, second button. Like this, we are getting the output. Hope the things are now clear, guys. In next tutorial, guys, I am going to teach you about the second method of button click handling. So stay tuned. Catch you guys in next tutorial. This is Shrix from SmartHerd signing off and have a good day. Thank you.